Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. And I am cold. Here in New York, it is about five degrees, which I know for some of you in the colder parts isn't cold. But for us, that's kind of cold. Thank God we have sun. Thank God for a lot of things, but um, good morning. It's about 10. 45 and ah like most people who jump out of bed and throw their clothes on and uh, run out the door I forgot my gloves happy new year everybody happy new year why is it so happy I don't know is it a new year by whose calendar? Chinese have their new year in February. It's much more fun than ours. It has dragons and fireworks and drumming and stuff to drive away the evil spirits and bring on luck. I don't know. Makes you wonder about all this stuff in the olden days, a long time ago. Did they really have all those monsters? Or did they know something that we've forgotten? I think they knew something that we've forgotten. I also think, and this is just my personal opinion, that there is a shift in the ethos, in the density of the ethers, of the parallel planes of existence. Uh, I don't know why, but I have this feeling that they are movable and that they move according to cycles, cyclical, uh, you know, I'm walking around like this with this phone in my hand in one of the more dangerous cities in the world. You know, I'm surprised nobody just snatched this shit out of my hand sometimes. Anyway. Things are changing here. Um, as far as the last several days uh, were spent indoors, thank God. Warm, thank God. Fed, thank God. With a bed, thank God. Uh, medicine, thank the Lord. And uh, my Shotzi, patron. Thank you. So as you can see, despite the fact that I spent, you know, the past however many days listening to in my head, the unstoppable uh, remote neural monitoring attacks, giving you headaches, making you sick, and sucking the life out of me. I don't know what it's doing. Biotelemetry and brain control. Uh, Despite that, I'm still managing to be cheerful, and I haven't even had a cup of coffee. Um, I wanted to speak for a minute about the carrot and the stick. This is an old saying that we have. It comes from the times before motors, before engines, when we used horses and donkeys and mules to power our carts. Uh, and so what you would do is you'd have a carrot on the end of a stick and you hold it in front of the horse and the horse wants the carrot so he goes forward to get it or she and if he doesn't you hit him with the stick whack right animal cruelty yeah I know but um so we're in this place this apartment that, you know, the, these people, they want to uh, get us out. It's a holdover. We are subtenants in a